Well, snow is starting across much of the area's western divide as we uh, watched this this morning. And we have taken those winter storm watches and upgraded them to a uh, winter storm warning anywhere from Yellowstone all the way down through Jackson, Afton, also in the Pinedale area as well. And these go from Saturday all the way through Tuesday. That's not a misprint. This is going to run a long time. And there will be a, this will be a quite a prolonged event early next week. Have a little better grasp of some of the timing of some of the periods of maximum impact. Start for the areas west of the divide. Just like to moderate snow today. Will be some slick roads, but nothing unusual for this time of year. First bad period of travel comes on Saturday night into early Sunday, especially after midnight on Saturday night. Snow will become heavier, one inch an hour snowfall rates possible. A little bit of a let up on Sunday midday into afternoon. Then Sunday night into Monday, this might be the most serious time to travel. Periods of snow, heavy at times once again, but this time this wind's going to become quite strong. Maybe gusts to 50, maybe 60 miles per hour, especially across the higher elevations, so a lot of blowing and drifting snow. Very difficult travel at this time. And it will continue Monday afternoon into Tuesday as well. A little more difficult to time it when we get this far out, though. And one other thing, the snow will become more of that heavier snow since warmer air may try to move in at that point, and it could increase the avalanche danger as well. Now, east of the divide, just mainly some light snow late in the day across northern areas, but pretty good today. Saturday night and early Sunday will be some snow spreading into the area, especially north of Santa Gray Bowl to Cody over to Buffalo Line and on to the north. A little bit of a break Sunday afternoon. Then a lot of uncertainty Sunday night to Monday morning. A lot of the miles have shifted a little bit further north with this border of the snow up into Montana, but some miles still have it a little bit further south, so still kind of pulling our hair, what hair I have left when this happens. So keep tuned to that, but rule of thumb, closer to the border, Montana border, I should say, better chance of getting something. So places like Lovell, Franny, Powell seem the best chance of getting any snow during that time frame. Now the question is, how much snow are we going to get? Now look at this map. Now this does fall over three or four days, so it might not be as impressive as it falls over a shorter period of time. Look across the Tetons. See those purple areas? Yeah, that's over three feet of snow. Wouldn't surprise me some places pick up locally four feet, maybe more over the next few days. Jackson Valley getting a lot of snow, one foot, maybe locally up to two feet up toward Moose and Moran. Star Valley locally seeing over a foot, especially up around the Alpine area. A lot of snow around Pinedale, especially up toward Bondurant. And many of the mountainous areas seeing a lot of snow as well. So you get one of these to measure the snow, yardstick. This might not be enough to measure some of the higher areas in the Tetons. Got to clean all the snow up. You smack yourself in the head trying to get all that snow out of the way. It's going to be a pain in the neck, that's for sure. And one last thing to look at, as always, here's our resources for weather, road conditions, and our webcams by route. Be safe, everybody. Have a great weekend.